Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm going to just go and disable some startup programs in MS Config. So it's like um, programs running in the background. So what I'm going to do, I'm in Windows 7, I'm going to go to the Start menu down the bottom here and I'm going to type in MS Config. C O N F I G so ms config and it comes up with msconfig.exe in the menu here so I'm just going to click on that okay so this is the system configuration and we're just going to go to the startup tab here now I have some stuff starting up that I do not like at all so for example we've got SkyDrive so I've noticed um, down in my notification area that SkyDrive is actually loading up and having a couple of problems so I'm definitely going to um, take that off because I don't even use it and I'm not even sure how it got there now LightScribe is something you do with um, CDs so you know like scribing on CDs now obviously I have a light scribe CD burner but I'm not actually you know um, printing out discs you know like um, labeling them with the light scribe so we'll take that off okay the HP media smart menu now I do not use anything to do with the HP I just run I've disabled all this stuff before so I know that you don't even need it it on this one um, now you, you have to be careful but it says HP smart menu now I don't even need that now I know that if you don't know that then you shouldn't disable it now this one here the pointing device driver now this is annoying as well and I don't need it I don't use it I've got a mouse connected um, but mind you disabling this one does not disable the actual touchpad even though it looks like it might okay so it doesn't I'm still using the mouse and I can still use the touchpad even when disabling that so some of these things I have no idea why I actually need them because I actually like to go down to the bare bones okay so let's go down a bit more HP quick launch no don't need it um, Nuance software which is um, the Nuance dragon naturally speaking like it wants to update all the time uh, no I'm, I don't like programs wanting to update all the time it annoys me um, app updater I don't even know what that is I'm going to get rid of it um, info center for PC pit stop program now that's the program that I use to clean up my computer that's fine but I'm not sure what that is so what I'm going to do is disable it and um, if, it, if the, that causes any problems with the program I can come back and um, put a tick here and put it back easily okay um, iTunes I'm not connecting any iPads or phones here and syncing them or whatever so I'm just going to disable iTunes okay uh, QuickTime Apple QuickTime um, some things require that you have that running because so you can watch some type of movie or something so just be careful with that one Adobe Reader um, I don't know I, you could try disabling it um, I look at PDFs like five times a day so I'll have to leave that for now uh, Myobe add-on connection now I have been disabling that because it takes up a lot of CPU in the background I've noticed and um, I'm not I don't really need to be connected to the myob website or whatever um, I know it wants to update myob and everything but um, I think that there's notices everywhere it says there's a new update available so I don't think I really need to get you know so connected that it's going to take up all my CPU 
uh, Bluetooth software. I just take that one off as well. I'm not using it. And I've got a whole heap of others that I disabled as well um, that were annoying me. And uh, Google Update, Facebook Update. These things just came in there. I don't know how they got there, but I don't need them, obviously. Um, I'm still using Google and I'm going on Facebook and I'm having no problem. Um, okay, so I've done that. Now, this one here, the security client, I wouldn't disable that because um, I think I might have the Microsoft um, Security Essentials on there. Um, and also I've got PC Pit Stop as well because PC Pit Stop protects your computer and cleans it. This one here is just protecting it. Now these two seem to be working fine together. I don't usually have two programs protecting the computer but um, I did need PC Pit Stop to clean up my computer for me so alright so I'm going to leave that one enabled just for now. Alright, so that's about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to apply down the bottom here. And that's it, it's done. Now when you start up or something like that you might get a message. So I'll just press OK. So here it is here. It says you might need to restart um, your computer before the changes take place. So I can just exit without restarting and you can also choose to don't show this message again okay now I just wanted to make sure that you don't um, disable things that you don't know about okay thanks for watching I hope that helps with uh, your startup programs